It looked like it was dropping down, but then it just kept going. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we have another awesome mod. Well, actually, it's several awesome mods all in the same pack. Three car mods. Three for the price of one. Today, we're going to be checking out the RG Apex XCR, the RG Sandstorm XSB, and the RG Vortex x 4 B. These things are awesome. He actually remade this mod. It's a it's an older mod, but he remade it to kind of I don't know I guess he just wasn't happy to just uh, just to bring it into the modern age I guess so basically if you can't tell these are two off-road oriented vehicles and then one I guess that's a, a Street version. Oh, wow. Okay. That thing is slick looking the thing about these guys. He's an awesome uh, mod maker by the way What's his name? Uh I can't, is it, is it just RG? I think it is. Anyway, his designs are simple on the outside, but the internal mechanics of these things are just freaking awesome. Now, I, my memory could be wrong, but is this the same guy that made the RG Scarab? I made a video on this ages and ages ago, like years ago. I'm wondering if it's the same dude. I feel like it is. It's the same kind of style. But anyway, the first one I want to try today is going to be the Sandstorm, just because... I don't know, I love the way it looks. So we have the Hill Climb, the Off-Road Racer, the Off-Road Racer Pro, which by the way has a warning on it. It says, this setup is difficult to drive, only a pro will tame this beast. I am no beast, so first off, I'm going to start with the Off-Road Racer. But we also have a Hill Climb Pro and the stock version. But I'm going to start with the Off-Road Racer because we're at Baharama, the perfect test track to test this thing. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Anyway, guys, if you would like to see more just car testing mods where I just kind of test off, do off-road stuff, maybe even with like a, a G27 wheel, like a face cam or a wheel cam, let me know down below in those comments and make sure to hit that like button as well. And holy crap, this thing is quick. Oh God, okay, yeah, I can see how this thing could be hard to control. This isn't even the pro version though. This is just the, the run of the mill off-road dune buggy and it is, oh, it's actually, the more I get, the more I drive it, the more I uh, get in tune with this thing, the more easily it is, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, this thing is perfect, man. It is in its element right now. Let's hit this jump and see how it handles it. Yes! Beautiful. Oh, that was satisfying. Oddly satisfying, I would might say, I, I might actually say. Anyway, I feel like I'm talking very fast. I'm, am, I, am I talking really fast right now? It's very late at night. I recorded my videos really late tonight for some reason, and I, I tend to get a little slap happy when I record late at night. It could, for, for the better or for worse, I could be a lot more annoying than I usually am. I apologize for that, but I hope you guys are having a good time. But this thing is freaking amazing. Like I said, the design, uh, he, he, he kind of is a minimalist when it comes to the actual design of the car, but the internal mechanics of this thing are just perfect, and I just crashed into that pole, and we are unaligned now. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not driving right. Whoopsie doodles. But yeah, everything just feels perfectly tuned for this specific test of off-roading, and it feels freaking amazing. Okay, so we we could go for a record. If I wouldn't have had that uh, mishap back there, we could probably go for a record time. This is a big jump coming up. Yes! Okay. Oh, we actually went a bit too far. Oh, no. Good thing these things are almost indestructible, except for the wheels and the... the, the uh, the, the axle, I guess, but everything else is pretty much indestructible. All right, so a little bit of a difficult section here. You got to kind of time these jumps perfectly, or you're gonna do oh, you're gonna do what I'm doing right now, which is like tumbling out of control. Uh oh, are we gonna be okay though? Oh yeah, of course we're gonna be okay. I wish I had one of these in real life. It would just be so fun to mess around with. Okay, so we can beat the hell out of the suspension and it'll just keep on going man it's it's a thing of freaking beauty now if you know my videos you know we're not just gonna do this the whole video we gotta crash these things or at least attempt to at some point in this video i just kind of want to run down uh these different variants here and just kind of see how they handle get in tune with them as much as we can i'm not going to go through all the variants because there's like 12 of them but we're going to go through the ones that I like or that I think look interesting. Okay, so I think that's good for now. So let's go ahead. Should I try the pro version real quick just to see how crazy it has a warning? So it must be literally impossible to control, right? Well, let's try it anyway. I'll let you guys know if it's any uh, more difficult to control. All right, so it has a bigger wing. Or is that, a, is that the same size wing? I can't really tell. Anyway, 
the intense version. Here we go. All right, so far it's the same. Oh, God, it feels a little bit faster, though. We might actually be able to fly with this. We're going to have to take this to the car jump arena at some point in this video. Don't let me forget. If you do, I'll be mad. Anyway, big jump. If we can hit it straight. Oh, oh, oh we're bouncing. Oh, the guy's pelt, the guy's like ass bone has to be just completely shattered into a million pieces after that. That hurt, that hurt to look at, man. All right, so did I break any? I don't think I broke anything. Something feels different about this thing, though, after that jump. Ah, God. Oh, this coccyx has to be just absolutely shattered. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, we're okay, we're okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah, it is a little bit hard to control. It wants to slide around quite a bit, but once you get the hang of it, it's okay. As I crash, and we're crashing. But it seems like these things are pretty close to unbreakable. I just broke my wheel there, and then I just slammed it back into place like a dislocated, I don't know, kneecap or something. You ever seen one of those videos of like a soccer player? He, he like dislocates his knee and he just like pops it back in and it makes me cringe every time I see it Don't google it if you're if you're the faint of heart, but it is kind of interesting just to see how weird our bodies are But uh, what am I even talking about? Oh, oh! <laughs> What is this madness all right, so that was the pro version definitely harder to control but I wouldn't say it's impossible I don't think it needs a warning or anything so with that, let's go ahead and reset our car, and let's try out the little uh, chubbier version. I think it uh, this one actually has a specific version uh, tuned to Baja. Yes, it does. Sweet! So let's see how this one actually performs on this track, which is specifically made for Baja racing. Oh, I like this. Oh, it's... it's. <laughs> and I, I almost don't want to say it because of getting demonetized, but it's a, it's a chode vehicle. <laughs> I don't know. Am I the only one that's seeing that? Anyway, this is... Oh, okay, let off the gas. So this one actually controls a little bit better than that other one. I guess that makes sense since it's in, and it's in its element right now. But, um, oh yeah, I really like this. What's the inside look like? Exactly like the other one? Okay, that's okay. That's fair. Let's see how it does on some jumps, though. How's it gonna go? Cinematic camera. Oh, beautiful. Okay, slow down. Whoa. Oh, we're floating. Oh, no. Oh, no. What'd I do? Oh. We're sideways. Oh no, what's happening? I don't know. Anyway, I'm scared. Go back. All right, let's try that again. And uh, <laughs> I got too caught up in the in the sick air cinematics. I didn't even pay attention that I was about to go off the the map. All right, so here we go. Another jump. Yes, beautiful. Oh, this thing is just perfect for this man. I take it back. This is the one I think I would spend my hard-earned money on. If I just had to have like a play thing to kind of, I wish I had, sometimes I wish I had land just so I could get one of these and mess around with. Any of you guys out there have land and have like a, like a dune buggy RV type thing you ever get to play with it? If it's any fun, let me know because I'm seriously, I'm seriously thinking about getting one now because this is pretty god dang fun. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so actually we handled that pretty well. And the other car, we'd have been flying all over the place, but I think this one is a little bit uh, heftier, so it can kind of handle those weird kind of bumps better. I guess that's why it's the Baja version. All right, this is a little bit of a difficult bit. Let's just get as much speed as we can and fly! Yes! Beautiful, and it still doesn't flip over. Oh, wait, yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. All right, so for the next vehicle, we actually need to go to something with a paved road. Because I don't, I don't believe the next one is actually made for off-roading. So, where should we go? Maybe, maybe, maybe West Coast USA? Yeah, I feel like I would see this car driving down the street here. Let's go to the highway, though, so we can really see how fast it can go. All right, so we have four choices here. The Turbo V8 Racer, which has the same warning that says it's difficult to control. We have the V8, the I6, and the I6 Cup. I kind of like the way this one looks. I kind of want to see. I feel like this one might be the fastest or the V8. I, I don't know, but this one looks the coolest. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. It's beautiful, man. What's the inside of this look like? Exactly the same. Okay. So I imagine this thing is pretty god dang quick. So let's just get it going. Listen to that engine purr, that uh, that classic old Beam and G sound before they actually update them. But yeah, it's pretty quick. Uh -huh. Can we break 100 in this thing? Come on, there we go. Close, 95, 96, 8, 9, 100. There we go. Oh, yeah, and how does it handle? Can we do some sick 
lane changes and not spin out. Yes, you can. It's actually surprisingly sturdy. Maybe not surprising, but uh, oh yeah. Now we're getting up there. 116, 117. What are we gonna top out at? 120. We're still going. 122. 100, 122. Okay, so that's as fast as we're going, I guess. I guess that's pretty fast, but I want to go faster. Can we drop like a turbo in this thing? Some NOS? We're gonna crash. Anyway, now we can see if it, if it deforms. Oh, <laughs> kind of. I mean, I mean, kind of. Not like uh, super deformation, but it, it's something. Like I said, though, this is not made for crashing. Look at that. Oh, what happened to my license plate? That looks weird. I don't like it. Anyway, let's go ahead and try the other one. The one that is. I guess we should, we'll probably go to the V8 one first. I, I kind of want to build up to it, so let's start. Let's just use the regular V8 version, and see. We need to beat. We need to beat 122 miles an hour. Oh, this is a drop top. Well, it doesn't have a top at all. This is a, uh, I don't know, a Spider edition, I guess. Anyway, if we can break 122 miles an hour, we'll know that this one is faster. It's weird how that works, isn't it? Anyway, we're already up to 120. Oh yeah, this thing is faster. Oh, it's way faster. 130. 235, 140, there we go. Can we break 150 before we have to crash? Come on, we're so close. We're so close, uh-oh. Oh, yes, there it is. Beautiful, we're gonna keep going. Maybe 160, come on. Uh, nope, we're not gonna hit it, we're gonna crash. Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> we, uh... We sphericalized the car. I don't think that's a word, but that's what it that's what we did. That's what it looks like anyway. Okay, so if we can go that fast in this one, what about the super edition that's uh, supposedly incredibly difficult to control? Well, let's go ahead and give it a shot, shall we? I am imagining this will go 200. If we can get past 200, I'll be happy. Oh yeah. Okay, so it looks the same. But does it control the same? Is it going to spin out on me? Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, let's break that hundred, or let's break that two hundred mark. Come on, let's do this. One hundred. Uh, come on, keep going. One hundred and fifty. One hundred and sixty. There we go. One hundred and seventy. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. One hundred and eighty. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't crash. One hundred and eighty-five. Hundred and ninety. No, we don't have enough room. Oh, I feel like it could have got up to 200 though. Now I'm kind of curious what the actual top speed of this thing is. So we're going to switch maps yet again to the good old grid map because it has just an area where we can just keep going as fast as we want to forever and ever. So let's go to the outside bin, a place we rarely visit, but I think it calls for it this time. All right, here we go. The V8 turbo. I, I think this thing will go 200. I, I don't I didn't really feel like we were about to top out yet So maybe it'll go above 200 I, either way It's a ridiculously fast car and an awesome addition to the mod community if you don't have this mod I highly recommend it uh, What it does what it lacks in looks it makes up for in performance and feedback That's what I have to say about that. But anyway, we're already up to 190 miles an hour. Keep going friend keep going 193, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Come on, 200, there we go. I thought it wasn't gonna hit it for a second. Oh, it seems like it's topping out at exactly 200 miles an hour. What happens if we turn? Oh, can we get it to flip? Nope, it's way too flat. Oh man, but yeah, this thing is a beast. 200 miles an hour, beautiful. I would buy this thing in a heartbeat. What would you guys, would you guys buy this? Let me know down below. All right, so I know the burning question now is which one of these three vehicles can go the farthest on the car jump arena? Well, it's funny you ask because we are gonna, we are gonna do that right now. And by the way, I know I, I forgot to, I forgot to use the uh, Herbie on this, uh, on this, on this map and I will, I will soon. Just uh, be on the lookout. Anyway, for now, we're gonna do, um, the uh, the distance test and we're gonna start we're gonna go from right to left so we're gonna start with the vortex now I'm gonna use the fastest version of each car so I imagine uh, the off-road racer is gonna be the fastest I I, I, th I think it will be anyway we're gonna hope it is I I, I imagine this one's probably not gonna go the fat the farthest because it's not really meant for doing that kind of stuff but uh, ooh, this one feels pretty fast actually anyway here we go 
Can, we, can any of these cars get past 500? I, that's what I'm hoping for. I think that, oh God, what is happening? My tires are warping. Oh, that is weird. Oh no, come on, go faster, must go faster. 250, not bad. The engine sounds like it's about to pop. Anyway, we're going right over the sand like it's ice and into the pool. <laughs> So that's about what I uh, imagined was going to happen. All right, so that one actually doesn't have like a super ludicrous addition, so I guess that's kind of a disadvantage. But remember, 250, 250. So should we use the hill climb or the hill climb? Oh, the hill climb pro is probably the fastest one. Yeah, okay, it has the warning. Okay, I imagine this one's probably going to be the fastest, but those giant wings might push it straight down. So we're, we're gonna, we might actually have to do this one twice because we might have to rip off the wing just so we can get maximum distance here. But uh, let's just see. Oh, yeah, it's pushing it down. It's definitely pushing it down. But let's just see how far it'll go first with the wing on the giant freaking wing. I imagine this is going to go straight down, buddy. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, the opposite. It's flying. Yes. <laughs> Past the 400, about 450. And the car is still in one piece, surprisingly. Well, I mean, not surprising. It looks like it could still drive, actually. Oh, that's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And the other car has a giant wing as well, doesn't it? Or does it? I can't remember now. But uh, let's, see how, let's see how far the Turbo V8 race will go. We have to beat 450 now. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Come on, Apex. Uh, keep it going. Don't. Don't. Yeah, there you go. Okay, speed it up. Speed it up. Come on. Break that 200. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it has a wing. It's not nearly as big, though, but... Oh, whoa! <laughs> it looked like it was dropping down, but then it just kept going. And I think we beat the uh, the other car by about 5 or 10. I couldn't really tell. And wow, we really wrecked this thing. That's the most I've seen this wrecked yet. Okay, I kind of want to do that one again and get a kind of cinematic camera because it looks like the long jump at the Olympics. Did, did anybody get reminded of that right now? I don't know why, but that's what it, it reminded me of. So let's do that again. And get the cinematic camera. Here we go. I know you guys hate this, but I just want to see it. And watch it fly. See, it looks like it's pushing down. But then it just keeps on going. Oh! Okay, I didn't see that. Oh, God. Oh, right into the wall. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, if you were in that, I imagine you're, well, one, you're probably not in the car anymore, and two, you're dead, like, ten times over dead. <laughs> Alright, so, this has been the RG Pack, redone, remade, whatever you want to call it, awesome, completely awesome, it's, it's a must download, it gets a two thumbs up from me, and, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video, if you guys would like to see another video on this, maybe actually doing some racing, or some more in-depth off-roading and, and stuff like that, let me know down below. But for now, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.